hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is doing well today i share how to make agidi and to make that you're going to need some dry white corn so i'm going to pour some into a bowl now and then wash it with water to get rid of any dirt or dust if this is your first time here thank you so much for stopping by don't forget to subscribe it's somewhere down to your right that says subscribe it is totally free and please please click the like button it helps my video a whole lot so once i finish washing it i'm going to pour it into a pot add water and then cover so it can come to a rolling boil you don't want to cook it until it is very soft no just bring it to a rolling boil and it will be fine This is what I mean by rolling boil. You can see all the bubbles just boiling putu putu. It will take you about 10 minutes to achieve this. So I'm going to drain it now and rinse with cold water. Next, I'm going to blend it until it is smooth. So now I've added a bit into the blender. I'm going to add water. You know, you need water in the blender so the blade can turn and blend it really well. So I'll add water and then cover and blend until it is smooth. So once I finish blending, it is time to now sieve it. And to do that, I'm using my nut milk bag. If you have that bag that you used to sieve a camel, that's even going to make your job easier. But this is what I have and it worked. A brand new pillowcase can work as well if you don't have any of this in the house. So I'm going to just pour it in and then continue to sieve and add water as well. You want to make sure you get out all the starch from the coin. So I'm going to add water and rinse it out so that there is no starch left in the shaft so for the shaft if your blend was smooth enough you can use this to make fufu or you can feed this to your poultry chicken loves this cornmeal so feed it to your poultry instead of throwing it away so now i'm just going to squeeze with my hands to make sure everything is completely out and then i'm going to now cover it and let it settle for at least three hours honestly if you want this to really settle very well maybe eight hours or even overnight will do but your girl was in a hurry i didn't even wait up to three hours safe so almost three hours later yes i did not wait up to three hours <laughs> i'm going to drain the water and then some of the starch was already settled to the bottom which was good so yeah So next I'm going to pour the settled starch into a pot and start stirring. You also want to make sure that the consistency is light. You don't want it to be thick at all. So when I stirred and you know did the spatula check, it was still a little bit too thick. You want it to run down the spatula. So I added a little bit of water. So once you add water, continue to stir and check. Just make sure it runs down the spatula just like this and you are good to go. Keep stirring now until it starts to thicken up. At a point, you start to see lumps just like this. Don't worry, these are soft lumps. They will break up easily if you have been stirring consistently. But if you have not been stirring since, it will not work cool. So make sure you stand there and keep stirring. And then once it thickens up, the lumps are nothing. So at first it's going to thicken up like this but then obviously it is not cooked at this point so what you want to do is add a little bit of water and keep stirring again so off camera i added water like two three times and kept stirring until it became smooth and silky again So how do you know the agidi is ready? You know it is ready when you scoop some into a bowl of cold water 
once it sets you know it is done so what i do is i just go in with my hands after like 10 seconds of putting it into the cold water and then if it breaks apart just like this you know it is ready if you watch up until this point and you still haven't clicked the like button haba are we quarreling please click the like button it is free thank you so now i'm going to take it off the heat and tie it up immediately you want to do this immediately if not it's going to thicken up inside our pot and become difficult for you to get your desired shape so i'm using a um, monmoy leaf this gives it a very nice taste as well but if you don't have it you can use banana leaf or um foil paper yeah even foil paper or a plastic container just put it anywhere and allow it to set once it cools down it is time to enjoy so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you try this out send me pictures on instagram at the joyful cook don't forget to tag me on your insta stories as well so i can repost I serve this with some assorted pepper soup. I'll leave the link to this pepper soup in the description box. Yes, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Please subscribe, share, comment, leave me a love, leave me a heart if you don't have anything to say. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one. Bye.